Everybody move here. Of course, up next is going to be Miss Bianca. SL6, 5 to 4 in the coin booster have been enabled for her as well. And yes, we did skip her up to SL6 because she is very weak as well. Not nearly as bad as Flower. Flower could potentially be one of the top five worst Tsum Tsum in the game because it is a premium SL6 Tsum Tsum that you have to purchase. I mean, if they gave her out for free, like the SL3 Tsum Tsum they occasionally give us in events, okay, sure, whatever, right? But if you need to buy like 30 boxes to get flour, no, 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 no. Anyways, Miss Bianca, Bernard Tsum Tsum up here and turn into magical bubbles when next to Bianca at SL6 you get four variations. So you can get up to four of the large bubbles and it takes 18 mites of to charge up. So here are all the negatives about Miss Bianca. One. The bubbles that she generates are already bubbles. So even though they hit generally within that nine to 16 range, a bubble can't make another bubble. So you can't use those bubbles to make time bubbles to at least extend the gameplay and potentially at least get some kind of coin and score from her by playing a really long game. No, that is not available. Second, you need 18 Mitem to charge up the ability, which is already very weak to begin with. And the problem with that is, you need to be very careful how you use those bubbles. So if you have four of those magic bubbles on the screen and you have a whole bunch of Miss Biancas on screen, be aware that they do clear quite a bit and then you might just miss out on a, another um, skill recharge because you, your overflow is just completely being wasted. So you have to treat the, her ability as essentially just basic magic bubbles. If you have a long Miss Bianca chain, it's best to make that chain manually then pop one of her magic bubbles or a regular magic bubble. Let all of those Tumtum go into the overflow and then continue popping them. So that's basically how you want to play her. If you see other long chains on screen, again, it's best to make them manually. Maybe you'll get a time bubble out of it so you can at least extend the gameplay a little bit. And that's basically it. Of course, you have to use the bubbles to also re-enter fever time. Fortunately, two of them will get you back in. So if you see that you're approaching the end of your fever time, don't just pop all of the magic bubbles right away hoping that you might get enough mites because 18 is a big number again. So save at least one of those to potentially get you back in there with a the long chain and another few other combinations of regular bubble and one of her bubbles, whatever. The, the point is you wanna be very efficient with how you use her bubbles because otherwise the results are gonna be worse than substandard. So what can I say that's good about Miss Bianca? Her skill is actually incredibly satisfying to play. Popping those huge bubbles has a really nice feel to it. I can't really describe it. I guess when you get her and you start using her, uh, you're going to see what I'm talking about. It's just nice having those large bubbles and popping them and just kind of cycling through the screen. Uh, she doesn't have the same problems as Flower does because cycling through the screen is a lot easier with Miss Bianca. And that's actually kind of fun to play. But again, the results are just not there unfortunately. I think this Tsum could have been really good if maybe they didn't consider her ability a bubble and you could potentially make bubbles from that explosion, but without even that, ah oh man, it's just not good enough, unfortunately. So uh, that's going to do it for me. If you guys have any questions, comments, anything like that about Miss Bianca, I'll leave it all in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get as uh, back to you as quickly as I possibly can. And as always, thank you so much for your likes, your subs, and your viewership. I'll see you guys next time.
pretty weak, but very satisfying to play. Just popping those huge bubbles. Very satisfying, but the coin and the score? <laughs> no, not very good. <laughs> Alright, see you guys later.